Welcome to your Pilates Power Flow. This is going to be an incredible workout for strength and body weight training. So Pilates is used for balance and injury prevention. So please, please try to get Pilates into your weekly workouts. Just take your hands to the side, hip width apart. Let's wiggle those toes, move those ankles around. We're gonna flow. We're gonna feel every part of our body from top to bottom. Beautiful, take those hands up and arch back. Good job, and swing those arms down. Nice, now we're gonna stay right here in our parallel swing. And every time you lower down, I want you to just try to mentally feel like you are tapping those fingertips on to the ground. Perfect, now I want you to make your swings a little bigger and add that calf raise up and down. And it's all right if your balance feels a little wobbly. Give me four bigger arms. Three, two, yes, and one. Take your arms to heart center, sink down in to your parallel squat. So from the side, you are right here. I love it, perfect. Now let's rock up onto those heels and down. And if those hands are better onto your legs, take them there, up and down. Good job, take those arms up if you can for five. <sighs> Breathing, four. Good job, three, two, and one. Nice, and I just want you to take all of your weight to one leg, and you're going to extend the other leg to the back, and you're gonna stand tap and out. Stand tap, good posture, lengthening out from fingertip to pointed toe. Five. Four, already feeling that on your lower back, so if you need to keep that toe down, three, and two, and one. Let's just hold it out, hold it out, and I want you to squeeze, I want you to extend your fingertips out, extend your leg out, and when you're ready, drop the back leg and lift for eight, seven, six, good job, five, you can always have something to hold on to, Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful switch sides. I want you to take your other leg back and now stand up nice and tall. Give those shoulders a little release. And out and up. We're already working on our balance, keeping our flow powerful and strong. Just keep extending. You can always just tap that foot down and tap it to the front. Five, four, keep breathing. Three, two, and one. This is the one where you hold it. You're going to hold. You're gonna dig that big toe in. You're going to extend your arms long, pointing that toe. Now let's tap down up and down up. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Swing it to the front. Let's take your legs to a straddle. Roll your shoulders. Four, three, super job. Two, and one. All right, we're gonna fly our arms out to the side, and you're going to extend down, hinging from your hips all the way into a straddle. Now scoop up. Arch your back, down and scoop up. Nice, and back, and down. Good job, arms go out, you fly. Chest first, chest first, now scoop, scoop. Curve your back, two more, down. And last one. Super job, hands to your hips. And I just want you to topple forward and topple back. So from the side, your hips are back, your knees are soft. And we're working hammies and we're opening up those hips. Good job. Now let's start to add a calf raise. And I want you to push your booty forward and squeeze those cheeks. Squeeze them for five, 
four, three, and two, and one. Arms come up. You are going to squat down, tap the ground, hips up, hips back down, and stand. And squat, tap the ground, hips up, hips down, with a straight back. Down you go. If that just feels like too far to go, just keep your hands on your shins. Good job. Three, two, and one. I love it. Big circles again. Up to your toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. You've got a side lunge, so pop it over and back. Give me eight. Squeeze that hip, squeeze the abs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now turn this direction towards your lunge. I want you down, up, and I want you to slightly lean forward. So tap that knee, hinge from your hips, down, up. Good job. Four. You're welcome to go to your own pace. Two. And one. Let's build a little combo, how about it? Down up, hinge forward. Lunge, stand. Again, down up, hinge. Lunge, stand. Now let's add some arms. Down up, hinge forward. Add those arms up and stand. Down up, inch forward, down up, and stand. One more. Other side, side tap. Down up. Woo! Down up, you'll feel a little difference in this balance work on this side. That's okay. Side lunge tap, hip. Side lunge tap, hip. Five, four, three, two, and one. Turn to the side, single lunge down up, hinge from your hips, topple forward, down up, and hinge. Beautiful team. Taking that knee straight down, you can still see that toe off the front. Give me five. Four, three, two, and one, combo time. Hinge forward, lunge one more time, and stand, sprint your knee. Lunge, hinge forward, lunge again, and stand. Add those arms out to the side, down up, hinge forward. Raise those arms up. Woo! We are 11 this one. Good job. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your glutes. Work on that balance. Stay with me. Last one down up. Hinge forward. Down up, stand. And come to the front, shake it out. We're gonna build another little combo. I want you to sink down. Your feet are out. You're gonna sink down and up, all right? So your feet aren't totally in second position and they're not tapping either. You're actually welcome to bring them in just a tiny bit and shoot your booty back. Nice. We are going to go down up and curtsy to the side. Up, curtsy to the other side. Down up. Awesome job. Slow and controlled with your breathing. I love it, everybody. Awesome job. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Great. 
take your knees all your feet all the way out into second position oh. all right remember how we leaned side to side before you're just going to take that if your knees will let you and side to side over and your feet are in second position oh. leaving those hands on your thighs the whole time so now you're feeling the power strength and the power stretch good job Seven, speed it up. Six, five, heel, lift for more inner thighs. Three, two, and one. Everyone hold to this side. Now turn your knee towards me and hold. Good, now your knee's not in second. It's towards me and you raise. Good. Down and back up. Six, five, four, you feeling stretch on that long leg nice walk it over walk it over foot is towards me hand placed down raise and release good job you've got six five good job eyes down four three two and one nice come down to the ground wipe off your sweat if you need to. All right, I'm gonna turn, but you're welcome to stay to the front. It's just that we're gonna switch sides. <sighs> Left and right. We are up. So I want you to take one foot forward. And I want you to lean, and we're gonna keep it aflow. And then I want you to sit back. So you can take one hand down, and then back. You're welcome to run with it, and sit back with it. Run with it sit back if that's too much on your knees then you know that you're just here you can keep your hands down and crawl them and just crawl them good and we'll start to add a little flow flow forward send it back flow forward send it back you've got five four three and one hands down meet me in the middle meet me in the middle elbows on those knees and rock elbows on those knees and rock take one hand in and push stretch that back other hand in opposite thigh and push now come to the side oh man our legs are feeling it and feeling it good so you're forward and then you're back in one leg. I just feel like this leg's a little tighter on my side of the body. So I'm just gonna take it nice and slow to start. My sprinter stretch to my hamstring. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna drop a hand, put it on my knee. When I'm ready, I'm gonna give her those running arms. I'm just gonna stay on this side for our next move. You're gonna be back on your knees. Okay. We're gonna start to incorporate a little bit of upper body. So let's just start with our lean back. Lean back and try again. And you're welcome to just kind of see what feels right on those toes. You can take them flat or curl them under. Let's add, and add on to that combo. Head down to your all fours. Rock forward, push back. Forward, rock, stretch out those wrists. Push away. Down, forward, back, push. All right, I want 
some of y'all to stay right there. Others of you, we're gonna go all the way down to our little push-up, and I know that that feels extreme. You're welcome to just come right here, push away, get into that push-up option. We call it our box option. Push away bigger. Bring them up. Remember, you can stay light into your box. It doesn't matter because what you've chosen to do today is move your body. You have one more. Get into that child's pose. Take your feet. Tap those big toes, chin to the mat. Stretch out your lower back, sway side to side. Walk your hands towards me and pull away. You're welcome to stack those hands and pull away and stack those hands. All right, we're heading into our plank series. So if you do not want to stay into your plank, then definitely stay on all fours. I'm gonna turn this way just a little bit for the sunshine. Okay, now let's just practice taking our knees back a little bit. And I want you just to press up into your plank and then let's lower down, left, right, or right, left. And I just want you to stay right here as we start to get a feel for what this plank feels like, what our lower backs feel like today. If our wrists are up for it, you gotta do a full body scan every time you work out. All right, I want you to hold. You're either going to do a child's pose or a down dog, stretch those calves back, and you're gonna crouch out and in. That's your combo. Down dog and crouch. Good job. Some people call it a bolt push-up. Nice. Now let's add on a third component. A down dog, a crouch, knees go down, tricep down dog, crouch, and a tricep, good job, push back, down dog, crouch, tricep, one more, Ooh, good job, down dog, or crouch, doesn't matter, I want you to stay here with your triceps, you've got eight, seven, option is not to quit, but you can ride in here to your box, four, in three, good job. Two, and one, up. Swing those arms round and round. Give them a good swing. <sighs> Hands are gonna go back into your planking, please. All right, this time I want you to take one leg out to me and back, and the other leg out to the side and back, inside, and here is that option if you are just not quite ready for this move. Good job. And up you go. Four, three, two, and one. Now bring this leg towards me. I want you to open it up and take it back down. And the opposite leg out. And you open and you release and you're back. And you can always do these on your knees. Two more each side. And back. And over. Nice. I want to try one more thing. Over, open. Now drop your hips down and up. And switch. Over, up. Drop those hips down and up. Let's just do two more each side. Over, just slow and steady. Hand goes first. And over and open. And drop those hips down. Nice. Just take your shoulders and let's just stretch them with our necks and slowly switch. Feeling those shoulders for sure. One more time. Pull, place that hand on the back of your wrist. And again, over. Good job. Okay, I am going to come to this side 
this time, let's get in our hover. Just give me a few dolphins. So we're gonna go back and forwards. Slow, I want you super slow. Good job. And if you need that challenge, go ahead and rock up. Four. Three. Two. And one. And this time we're just gonna add on. Walk your feet together. Give me that dolphin. And back. If I called it anything except a dolphin, I am sorry. These little animal terms sometimes run together. You can also do this one from your knees. Don't you think that you can't? Three, two, and one more. Nice. Now to one side, and it does not matter which side because we are going to switch in just a second. All right. So I'm going to show the hardest option first, okay? You are going to put this base leg to the front. You're gonna raise a leg and then draw one knee in. So you're gonna raise the back leg, whoop, and draw the knee in. So your options are to stack your feet at the beginning and in or leave that knee on the ground. And you could just barely lift it off. You do not have to do a super big elbow to knee for three, two, and one. And let's just switch sides on that exact same move. Beautiful, great job. Okay, remember, knee can stay down or rise, and you've got one. Send it to the back so that that base leg has an opportunity to swing through. got four and three and two and one good job coming all the way back over let's get into that beast stance which just means you are in all fours your shoulders elbows wrists all in alignment we're gonna push up and down now we're activating those shoulders again and activating your glutes While you're up here, I want you to hunch your back towards me and then push it down and up and down. You're welcome to do this from your knees. A little scapula rotation. Up, three more, three, two, and one. Good job, rest if you need to. Otherwise, I want you to kick out for eight, seven, Five, squeeze, you can always drop that knee down. Four, three, two, and one, and you switch, hovering that knee up. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down, child's pose, stretch it all out. Hang out here and just breathe. Sway those hips side to side. All right, let's head on to our seated portion and our back. Come back up into all fours. I want you to lean back with a cat and lean forward with a cobra dive down. Now just take it back and down and dive and up and stretch out that lower back. So you're not going all the way down into your child's pose. You're just stretching that lower back. Nice, two more. And dive, dive, dive. And last one, you are back. Ooh, feels so good. Pushing all the way up. Come on to your seat. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna turn at just an angle for you, but I'm in a straddle. Okay, our ending pose is going to be this 
right here. So I want you to take your hands to the side and I want you to tap down and bring it up and switch down and take it up and seated big scoop. We're just gonna add on to this and if, if going all the way back is not right for you, then just lean away. Good job. Don't hurt yourself. Three, you can also bend those knees. Oh, here we go. That feels a little better. Two, and one. Ooh. All right, from the side, we're gonna do a little flying eagle. So I want you to go ahead and sit in what us old cheerleaders would call the star pose. We're gonna take our arms and twist to the side and lower down and push away and twist and push in order not to get that cramp in our leg. We're gonna try to extend it. Good job. Nice. Eight and seven, six. Tuck that heel a little closer. Twist a little deeper, elbows up a little higher, chest a little lower as you lower down. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do a little mobility action. So from this angle, you're gonna turn away from me and rise up and then rise back and then rotate away and rise up and rise up. I'm actually going to try to switching so I can get to the front of my mat and be centered with y'all. Good job. Eight, seven, six, reach high, four, three, two. We're going to stay on this side all the way over into our star. All right, let's work on our combo. Taking your arms up, finding your hands, releasing down, arms up, find those hands, and release down. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend that leg. Nice and controlled. Good job. Give me eight. All right, swiveling those hips around. We're gonna come to our backs. Actually stay seated, seated upright for me. And just take those arms up. And let's just slowly head back. Take as long as you need to and as slow and steady. Let's try to get down in eight, seven, six, five, four. Woohoo, there she is, three, two, and one, and from here, I just want you to raise and lower one leg at a time. You are up, you are down. We are seriously so close to finishing this, and you guys have done so good trying out some new moves. And like always, if any kind of sit-ups or core work hurt your neck, then please, please keep your fingertips behind. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and sit on up. Good job, take those hands behind you and release them out. And you are going to simply tap down and up and down and up. If that's too much, leave your feet down and kick opposite. Good job, and if you're ready for more, we're gonna hollow hold this and tap down and up, good job. Five, and four, and three, and two, 
in one and let's swing back and take your arms up and now let's swing them in and pull them out for eight and seven and six and five four three two and one nice job take those hands either behind your neck or to your side and I just want to do some big circling out to just finish our practice with some hip rotations and some inner thigh work the challenge on this one is to leave that base leg hovering just above the ground and maybe just try and if this hurts you in any way bend those knees you can even extend long you can rise up four three two let's circle the other direction oh this is going to be a good one out and up remember you angle your body you do what's right for you there's so many options here three and two and one all right extend long we're going to raise the opposite leg remember it does not matter which circle you decide to do first because we are just going to switch directions keep breathing you can always tap that foot down four and three two and one opposite direction for me over and you're still really using those abs would not be a beach travel fit workout if we did not have some source of lawnmower weed eater train plane or automobile off on the side okay good job five four three two and one give me some scissor pulls i just want to double pull and release actually take your knees and double pulse and this will be our transition good job and double pulse when you're ready five and four and three and two and one beautiful arms down let's take those hips up release those hips press them up to the ceiling and deep breath you have done it what a fun fun workout I loved it so much good job take those arms up above your head press those hips even tighter now take one arm out to the side and I want you just to reach over and stretch and reach and stretch and reach and stretch and reach nice job bring those knees up into your chest give yourself a nice big hug roll it all the way over for some official cat cows let's press that tummy down chin up and switch chin to your chest and back up five four three two and one all right what an awesome practice you are amazing if you ever think you are not absolutely outstanding incredible fantastic and marvelous then I need you to send me a message and we need to have a chat about how special you are. I love you. Get your water today. Plan your proteins. You are worth prioritizing yourself. Come say hi on our tribe community site. Mwah.